immigrant's life going. Hope that everybody's doing okay and all right out there. Sorry for my haphazard hair. I uh, actually did a little bunch of yard work today, or, or a fair amount, and, um, you know, I still kind of look a little bit raggedy, but how's everybody doing? I'm, I know I'm on here about 30 minutes late. Yeah, actually, again, I keep myself really busy trying to do this fragrance world kind of thing. Actually, I just posted on Instagram. Again, I think that's last week what happened. I was like, I, like, finally sat down. I'm, like, getting ready, and, uh, you know getting ready to get here for the live and i'm just you know ty uh, typing away on my instagram post so if you want to see a good instagram post uh, hop on over there but it's a uh, it's a saturday it i mean it doesn't really feel like a saturday to me does it feel like a saturday to y'all i'm curious also i i mean for all i know there's a boxing match or again some of y'all mentioned a couple you know, big events, and half of the time, I don't even know if they're going on, so I've been on here for a whole minute. This is the first time in a long time that I've been on here for an entire minute, and nobody has been on here live. I did press public, and for some reason, if you do, if you go live, I mean, I guess, who would choose to, uh, you know, make their live private? I don't know. Anyways, I see one person's here. What's your sense of the day? Thank you for popping in. How's the fragrance world? How's the fragrance life? Um, I do have some fragrance coming in. I was bad. I mean, I don't have the budget for it, but I did it anyways. There's a couple of designer fragrances I've been wanting. And I do want to show you all new, you know, new additions to my collections that are designers. You know, again, and uh, for the last couple of purchases, I've been saving up for niche. And there's some great designers. And there's a couple of them I've been wanting. So I'm hoping that they're going to be really, really good. One of them is Green Lover by Lolita Lampica, I think it is. So that'll be exciting. Um, John's A hey, says hello. What's up, Holmes? Uh, scent of the day is, uh, oh, Frederick Mall, poor Monsieur. Uh, ben, I'm a PM you on Instagram, so check to, to check it out. I will. Please message me on Instagram. I'd love to chat it up with any of y'all. You know, I don't, I'm not on, Inst I don't live on Instagram. Again, I'm not criticizing anybody, and I'm sure it's lots of fun, but sometimes you see people and, um, the, I mean, immediately, the split second after I put a comment, um, on Instagram, they're immediately, they read it. Somehow they're that fast. I mean, I, I, it's I literally the second or half a second after I post the comment. And, it, you know, I haven't responded to them in a while. And they're already reading and responding to it. So it's really amazing. Uh, some of y'all really, you know, active and chatted up on Instagram. And I love to chat with y'all when I can. I'll pop on there about three times a day and uh, check things out a little bit. But uh, how are you doing, John? What's your sense of the day? And anybody else who's still here, I see three people here. Did y'all have a good fragrance week? Um, I did start pulling into some of my more spring fragrances. Uh, I think my spring, uh, I'm going to start switching over to spring fragrances. I do have some some cold weather content still to share with y'all. Um, I, You know, I still have uh, some some complex fragrances I need to share. Those, those uh, Suga fragrances. And I do want to review maybe some Francesca Bianchi's. But again, I still have like 15 videos I have all still recorded. I still haven't even uploaded. So again, I I'm not again. I have all kinds of interesting thoughts. I find it fascinating that some fragrance reviewers say that maybe they don't have enough content to make or they can't think of what to say. I wish I had more time. And again, I I could review a fragrance every day. There's so many. There's so many things out there, and there's so many thoughts I could have, and so many different other types of content I could put out. That's, um, I wish I had more time. Oh my gosh, you better reply to me ASAP. Oh, um, I'm not active on there. I just figured out. Oh, no, yeah. That's the that's the best way to reach out to me. If if y'all are thinking of messaging me on Facebook Messenger, honestly, I haven't been messing with Facebook in the last couple of weeks. You know, Facebook is a decent place. Lots of people use it. And again, I have made my uh, fragrance Facebook pretty drama-free and politics and all that kind of stuff free. So I don't even get into that. That's not even a part of what I do. But um, I, I just thought, I don't know why. I thought I'd take a break. I just haven't feel, been feeling Facebook. I love Instagram. I love how uh, positive it seems to be, how fast people respond. And it's just something that I really like. I love the environment. I love what's got going on over there. So maybe I'll make a return over there to Facebook. But we'll have to see. Uh, John says, um, I'm on the patchouli bender. Um Patchouli Bender just ordered Montal. Oh, do you mean that you're really loving the patchouli? 
Sorry, I, I must have something on my, in my throat. I don't even know what it is, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, John says, well, it's not really it's not really that's negative. I mean, I did get into some Facebook groups, some of the biggest ones, uh, fragrance Facebook groups. And I mean, there was some uh, people there and you, there are some negativity and some people who like to fight. And that's all good, I guess, if people want to spend their time trying to fight each other over fragrance. Which I think is one of the thing. I guess one of the reasons I don't mess with Facebook groups that much, and I have had some bad experiences. But overall, it's a decent place. I just don't. I didn't feel like people were that responsive to me, and maybe it just wasn't the type of format. You know, honestly, uh, people thought it was really funny. When I sometimes I wouldn't even uh, pay attention to whose group it was. Sometimes it would be another fragrance reviewer's group, and if somebody asked a question about a fragrance, they want a recommendation or an opinion on a certain fragrance. I would just pop in. I mean, that's what I I would I used to use Facebook for. It's just to help people. That's all I used it for. And uh, but but I really didn't learn much myself, or you know, I I don't know. I just didn't connect to people at, on Facebook very much. But let me know. Should I get back into the Facebook scene? Do y'all like my my little Facebook group that I made? That's pretty inactive. Another reason I was kind of discouraged because. I uh I made my Facebook group, and I know that some people have free range and have Facebook groups where anybody can post anything, but I made my own little group just for my, you know, some people who want to see my content or maybe connected to me, and uh, I'm not mad about it. I didn't even plan on saying this. Again, we're just having a discussion today, but there was other fragrance reviewers who just post a lot in there, and uh, were posting really, really repetitively, and I tried to warn a couple of them. One got really mad at me. And uh, I, I, I don't know if I want to fight it anymore. I, I have to go in there. Every single time I look at my Facebook, I have to, like, delete all these videos. And I've, I've tried to tell these people. I put, I put, uh, I don't know if I should kick them out. I put, a I put a notification. I put it in the rules that, I mean, it's like, you know. Uh, anyways, Gam, good to see you. Hey, how's life treating you? Did y'all have a good week? I'm not negative. I'm not down or anything. I just, y'all got me on a funny topic. So that was something that's on, my, that that used to be on my mind. I, I don't think about it too much. But when I think about Facebook, it does come to mind. So anything new with y'all? Any any good fragrances? I've really been liking my Bulgari Aquamarine. Actually, it was my scent of the day. I think it's fantastic. I'm wearing it right now. So I don't know. That's, I, that's a, I think it's a fragrance that can work for anybody. I don't know if it was a good decision or not. I have Mont Blanc um, Legend Spirit on the way. That was a fragrance that's been really hyped as like a compliment getter and really popular. And I'm sure it's going to be a little bit simple, but I'm hoping that it's going to be as good as some of these fragrance reviewers say. And I'll finally be able to get a review out there for y'all. And hopefully it's a really good, uh, really works because if you get the right discount code, you can get a three point, a full ounce bottle. For about 3.3 i'm in a 3.3 ounce ball a full size 3.3 3.4 for about 30 odd dollars so i want you want a melon scent let me see if i can't find you a melon scent let's see what we can do um if you don't know i'm sure that you do you can go on fragrantica you can search on notes and uh, you can search on uh, the note section you can type in just about anything so they have a citrus section I don't know if they're going to put melon. Probably not a citrus. They're probably going to put it under fruit. Let me see. I'll just use good old control find and see if it'll it'll help me out. So let's see here. I got the melon. I got the melon for you. Um, it's not really a mellow scent. Uh, uh, melon, mellow. But it's called Pomelo Paradis. I talk about it quite often. It's kind of like a, a melon scent. A little bit. That's not exactly a cantaloupe. Or honeydew or watermelon or anything like that. So um, if you just do Fragrantica search notes, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing uh, right now. I'm trying to see if there's anything that looks good. There's a there's a honeydew melon by Demeter, which, again, I've never really bought into those Demeter fragrances. Some people seem to like them fairly much. Uh, well, there's a Zara peach margarita, supposedly has melon. Uh, I haven't heard anything about that one. It came out in 2018. That one might not be available I know that Zara fragrances come and go really, really quickly. Let's see here. Um, are there any fragrances that look like really good? I'm trying to see. Hmm. There's um no, that's no, that wouldn't work. 
I don't know. No, no, nothing to come straight to mind besides Pamelo Paradis by Tilly, uh, Colo- or you know Tilly fragrances. But I'm trying to see if I can't find something for you. Let's see a melon fragrance. There's one supposedly by uh, by par, How do you say this? Parlay Boy, uh, de Parfum. Uh, it's called Provence uh, eighty nine. I don't know much about it. Let me look at it. Um, let's see here. I had to meet her bananas flambe and uh, turned out to be toilet spray. Yeah, see again. I don't have anything against again. Some cheapies are amazing. I'm not talking about. Cheapy twenty twenty thirty dollar cheapies. I've taken a risk on some fragrances that are like eight dollars, and some of them are good for the money. I mean, I mean, the, I mean, they're better than their price tag. I mean, they're definitely good quality for what you're paying. But are they great fragrances? I mean, an eight dollar fragrance, not. I won't say what it is. I still, I still respect the fragrance because it has good memories for me. But honestly, I I use one of the eight dollar fragrances as a, a you know kind of like a glass cleaner instead of Windex, and I use it to clean my phone sometimes. And it's actually not it's not that I'm just actually not even trying to disrespect the fragrance. I actually kind of like it, you know, kind of since my phone a little bit. I get to clean my phone off. Maybe that's a weird suggestion as a fragrance reviewer, a fragrance enthusiast. But I don't know. Maybe you have a fragrance that you don't want to give away, or maybe you don't want to sell because you can't make anything off of it. Um, you know, maybe you want to have a eight dollar fragrance or five dollar fragrance around just for that alcohol content or whatever, just to clean your phone or your or your uh, your your laptop screen. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yeah, Gallagher's amongst waves. Yeah, that would work. That certainly would work. That's a good suggestion. Uh, but also seems uh, also seems like it might be not a good voyage. Not a good voyage does have a little bit of a melon note. It doesn't have a. It doesn't distinctly smell like a melon to me. But I, it does have that note in there for sure. I was trying to find a fragrance that distinctly has watermelon. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know that I've seen a fragrance that has watermelon. Uh, Saint Julep is one of them for sure by Imaginary Authors. I think it's Saint Julep. This one um, is a niche house. It's called Hot. Uh, it's called Parfum Moi de Parfum. Again, this one's called Hot. Uh, how you say that? Hot. Uh, Provence uh, eighty nine and. Uh, it supposedly has a watermelon note, so you could check that one. It has melon, lavender, watermelon, and narcissus. So kind of clean, kind of fruity. Probably longevity on it is probably poor, but it might be good. So I'm, I think, I want to say there's one by Hermes. I can't remember off the top of my head. And um, I'm not sure. Is there what? I could be mistaken. The Blue Mediterranean line by... Aqua de Parma. Is there is there a melon one in that collection? I'm just looking over all these fragrances to see if any good ones pop out that look interesting. So, oh, Gallagher's Amongst Waves. We just talked about that one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just joking around today. I, I I'm not super tired, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling. I, I kind of. I'm actually feeling kind of energetic. I'm kind of feeling good in a really weird way. It's kind of like you're kind of uh, in that, li- you feel like you're in limbo. Not that you're tired, but that you're like, um, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it. There's uh, Alchemia's Moon Goddess. Haven't tried that one. Who knows if you can even get your hands on that one. That one's indie. I know Alchemia makes some fun stuff from time to time. So uh, let me look at this one. Supposedly the original DS and Durga uh, had a mellow note. Uh, Dia Sandurga makes some good fragrances. It has a melon note. So, is this one still available for sale? Dia Sandurga is, is just called Durga. Um, this one might be a good one to look out for if it's still available. Let me let me double check on that. Uh, G- uh, Georgie is in the house, 1978, and Johnny. Sorry, sorry that I wasn't re- I wasn't reading the comments there for a section. So please forgive me. Uncommon Sense is in the house. Hey there, Gam. Oh, I missed a bunch of comments. Um, I want to, I read the, the melon scent, the flambe, yes, greetings from Australia, hey Georgie, good to see you pop in here, here Dolce Gabbana, Le, le Impertinence, I know it's kind of like impertinence or uh, impertrice, was excellent melon, I have not tried that one, but I, I'm willing to give it a try, honestly, the, I don't know why, I didn't connect to the bottles very much, Dolce Gabbana trying the have that like classy laid back kind of look to their balls. I don't know why. It doesn't work for me. 
it's just kind of funny to see. We all have different psychology and opinions on like bottles and brands and what the brands represent. I don't know why the but the but and uh, the ball shouldn't matter that much. The juice is what matters. But good day, mate. Good job. Good to see you, John and Georgie. Um, oh yeah. Um, let's see. Our prayers, Le Mousson. Uh Good call, B. Absolutely. Uh, Uncommon sense. Good to see you again, my friend. How's life treating you? Did you have y'all had a beautiful week? Any good fragrances? Anything new? So Durga is still available on Lucky Scent. Uh, it's not. It's not cheap. It's actually a fifty mil. For three hundred fifty dollars, and I have not tried it. I'm definitely not, am not saying go blind by this. Uh, and it's got some mixed reviews. Some people are saying it's really strong on the tuberose and the jasmine. It might not be that uh, watermelon or cantaloupe honeydew fragrance that you're looking for. But if you love florals, it might be worth checking out. Let's see here. Um, thanks, uh, Ritz. Let's see here. A few years back, got rid of it fast. That's what John says. Um. Oh, you got you sold it. Fifty dollars for three fifty hard pass. Yeah, that's 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 pretty expensive niche. That's pretty that's that, that's up there. There's there's things that are more expensive, but that's up there. That's that's uh that's a rich palette. That's a pretty darn uh pretty darn pricey, ain't it? I don't have money for something like that right now. I certainly don't. Even uh that's that's a hard purchase for me. Even if I had that kind of money, that's a lot of money. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, any questions? Any thoughts? Did y'all have a good week? I don't see anybody commenting. Did y'all buy any new fragrances? I mean, any any about your week and your fragrance choices? Um, I don't think I did. I share this. I don't. I think this happened this week. Um, well, I've got the, I've, I've been testing these fragrances from this brand called Good Vibes Perfume, trying to see if they grow on me. This is one hundred. I think it's decent. The Caribbean lime is really nice. Y'all know I like a good lime. This one might be good for the summer. I'm trying to see if I fall in love with these. I like fragrances with an edge. And this fragrance brand has its own style. It's like smooth and kind of and kind of like crystalline. And I don't know. I kind of like I don't know if this what this fragrance house has my has my vibe, but I'm trying to see if it's going to grow on me. Or maybe the fragrance the, the fragrances might need to just maturate a little bit. Maybe I should spray them in the air. <laughs> Spread in the air a little bit. See if that helps it out. You know, shake the fragrance a little. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, Riz, Ritz, good to see you, my friend. How's life treating you? We're just joking around. We're just taking it easy. We're just relaxing. Nothing too serious here. This is nothing like a full-length review where I try to get into the nitty-gritty and share as much information as I can possible. You know, in a really concise type of way. But let me know. Do y'all like me? Like it when I'm really concise? Or do y'all like it when I do big, long reviews? Because I do have a, re a review coming I'll probably release next week uh, in a couple, I don't know, three or four days. And it's of H24 by Hermes and had a lot of mixed reviews. I went back and forth and I really tried to exp explain my thoughts and my emotions behind the fragrance. And, I, I, and you know, I used to do some videos that might get a little, little bit past 10, min 10 or 12 minutes. And then I've tried to bring them down to about eight minute videos. But um, this this video was a little bit longer. It was about 17 minutes. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem, but I'm just curious if that's a big deal. Because again, the average watch time person, I know that some people pop in for just a couple seconds, and maybe I shouldn't be pay attention to average watch time. But uh, again, for the, I think for the average uh, you know content creator, it's like four minutes. So. Anyways, uh, let me catch up with the comments. Uh, John says, I wore Bond number no. 9 all week. New York Musk, Bleecker, Silver Mount, uh, Silver Factory, Fire Island, Cooper Square, Coney Island. Do you like Fire Island? I do not like that fragrance uh, at all. But I'm curious if you like it or not. Uh, it has like, I'm not sure if it's from an amber. It has a really strange, spicy, energetic, Play-Doh-like quality about it. I just can't relate. Uh, to I think it's the Fire Island one, if I remember right. It was actually one of my most disliked uh, fragrances, but Bond Number no. Nine does make some good ones. I'm not trying to tear them down. There's Chez Bond out there. Bleecker Street was pretty good. New Harlem was great. Uh, the original Andy Warhol, fantastic. Um, I I forget. There's I think it's Cooper. Is it Cooper Square? I've actually I'm, I don't remember testing that one. I've been tempted to get it. I actually like the bottle of Cooper Square. So. 
I'm tempted. I do need to try more bond number nines whenever I can, but we'll have to see when I do. Ronald says, "Evening, since of the night is Armani. Um, that's what a stronger with you intensely. I caught on there. Y'all know me in abbreviations. Don't play well, <laughs> but I caught on. Uh, great choice, great fragrance. Um, one of these days I might have to get my hands on that one. John says, uh, "I'm good with the short ones. Okay." I hear you, and I know that a lot of people tend to like that, but again, if it's something I, I definitely have a lot to say about, and I have a lot of feelings involved, it's going to be, so I don't do that very often, I just wanted to, I, thank you for the feedback, I, that's what I was looking for, a little bit of feedback. John says, I used to not like tuberose, and now I really love it, Fire Island is much, so much sunscreen to me, okay, it smells like a lot of sunscreen. Maybe it's, maybe it just doesn't, it smells like off sunscreen. I actually do like the smell of sunscreen, things like Bronze Goddess, and I've smelled some fragrances with that suntan lotion vibe, um, but I don't know why the Fire Island, if it's the one I remember, I don't know, maybe it was my skin chemistry, or just my, my funny nose, who knows, who knows. But uh, Tuberose is a very interesting floral, it has a big personality, Orchid is like a little bit more dark and seductive. Tuberose is like rock and roll. It's a little bit more aggressive. It's a little bit more loud. It'll yell at you. Uh, tuberose. I do prefer Tuberose over like Orchid. And it's actually Tuberose are one of my favorite florals. I like Violet. Uh, sometimes I like Narcissus. Sometimes I like Freesia. Jasmine is real iffy for me. I know a lot of people love Jasmine. People look for Jasmine. But to me, I don't like Jasmine to be in the forefront. If it's blended in the fragrance well, Jasmine can be beautiful. But... Um, there's lots of interesting florals out there. I'm trying to get my head wrapped around them because there's so many. And you see that some of them used fairly often fragrances like iris. And I feel like maybe not everybody has smelled natural iris uh, or smelled enough fragrances to really identify what the iris is. And I know that not everybody wants to take fragrances so seriously. But if you're a fragrance reviewer or if you're like a fragrance addict, like if you're a big fragrance enthusiast watching right now, um, I think it's a good thing maybe to understand what these notes are. Um, at least I, I find that a really good part of it. So I, I, you know, I bought some more essential oils recently. I got, you know, some kind of basic ones, tangerine and lavender and sage, but I also got some other ones that were really interesting. And, uh, somebody asked if I would show them on Instagram. I don't, again, I used to talk about reviewing other, all things fragrance related. Is that something y'all would want? Do y'all, would y'all like me to sit down? and talk about uh, essential oils. And I you know, I could make multiple videos about uh, related to essential oils. And would you like me to show you kind of my favorite essential oil brand uh, for the price and for the value? Um, let's see here, candles. Um, you would like to see scented candles. Um, I actually have a brand that I like for the price, kind of value for money and for what you get. It's actually my favorite candle brand so far. Um, I, I forget, I do have it sitting over there. I'd have to pull it out and show it to y'all, but it's a gourmand candle. I did a video about the company, and it actually was my favorite can one of probably my favorite candle I've ever smelled of all time. It was beautiful. And uh, what's the brand? Do you want me to go grab it? I can go grab them real quick. Let me do that because we're talking about them. Give me like I don't know, ten seconds. Okay, so I am back, everybody. Sorry about that little detour. Thanks. I'm happy to help you, John. And I wish that I, you know, I haven't talked about these uh, and uh, really haven't talked about them and thought about them in a while. So that's one reason I've kind of forgot about them. My favorite brands of candles are Victoria and Can uh, Candleberry. I'll have to check those out. So the, this might not be the best brand. I'm still not the most experienced with candles. I don't burn candles that often. Usually I go for... Uh, actually burning incense or actually making my own incense oils and applying those to my skin uh, if I want fragrance or something else besides actual, you know, perfumes and colognes and fragrances. Um, and I use a diffuser for essential oils as well. So candles, 
are kind of low on my priority list, but I do want to, you know, kind of fall in love with them again and uh, love them. So this is, uh, the brand is called Trap. It's called T-R-A-P-P. And, you know, you can buy them in these little minis, and these give you a fair amount of scent. And you can kind of use these, if you have a small container, you can use these as a refill. One reason I like the brand is that, uh, again, these are kind of affordable, and they have, you know, instead of being highly, again, they're probably not supernatural, but they smell better quality, and they kind of focus on a couple notes, so they're kind of a little bit laid back. They're not full-on complex, uh, you know, a complex formula, so this one is patchouli and uh, sandalwood, and it smells really nice. It's really calming and uh, kind of soothing. It's kind of like a white, clean patchouli. And a slightly creamy sandalwood. I don't get a lot of the sandalwood, honestly, but there's a little bit of it. And um, this, for the money, for what you get, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, but Pry, let's see. Uh, yes, they do. Uh, look at JMO Shop. Um, <coughs> they have Creed testers. Creed don't make testers. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. So are you saying that uh, they have fake fragrances at JMO Shop? I'm not really sure. So, I don't know. Maybe they they aren't a very reputable brand to buy from. But thanks for the heads up, Ben. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe be careful. Maybe they're not reputable to buy from. Um, and one, one of the times I did, I don't know if it was a live on here, but I did mention them maybe on Instagram once. I think it might have been here, but I mentioned Jameis Shop. And I, um, I honestly have never bought from them. And I wasn't encouraging you all to buy from them, really. Buy from a fragrance net, but they've upped their prices. So you, I do look at if you make sure you're getting the right prices. Uh, I buy mostly from Fragrance by CA these days, but I do buy from eBay from really really reputable sellers like 99 or 100 percent, uh, you know, review rating on eBay. But you know, you do have to be careful. But anyways, that's sad. That's sad. And also, one of uh, one of the other reasons I recommended them. Is because uh, they were popped up on Fragrantica. I don't know if, if Fragrantica knows that they're not a, a very reputable seller. If you go and look on up a fragrance on Fragrantica, they give you like four or five or more, sometimes a few more places to buy fragrances. I don't know why if if they're not a reputable company, Jameis Shop. I don't know why Fragrantica is mentioning or you know giving you links to them. That's kind of that's funny. That's that's not good. Uh, John says, yes, they do. Uh, John says, but Pry, um, let's see, by their join one of the Ventus Facebook groups. Um, oh, I don't, I don't, did I miss something? I didn't hear anything about a Ventus. <laughs> I, I, I feel like the co the conversation is getting away from me. Or maybe I'm not, I'm not reading in between the lines. What's going on? Hey, knows, 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 no notes. What's going on, my friend? How's life treating you? Did you, did you, did you have a good weekend? I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm loopy, but anyways, I'm doing pretty good over here. Um, just trying to relax, really. Have, do you like candles? Some people really want to ask about candles, so for the price, for the money, this is probably my favorite brand I've tried so far, but again, I haven't went have, haven't went over, out really out of my way to buy really expensive candles, at least not yet. It's, uh, I find it really fascinating that some people in the fragrance community really, really love candles. Again, I'm not against them. I think that they are beautiful, but I, I, I just connect personally to burning incense. And uh, got some strange noises over there. Anyways, uh, uh, diffusing essential oils in my room. Uh, but anyways, another candle brand that these people did send this to me a while ago. So this was out of the generosity of their own hearts. But it's called Cross Centered. Um, I did include their website when they first sent this to me. I was very grateful. I don't know how they made such a beautiful candle that smelled so good. This is a, this is like a a butterscotch candle. It's so gourmand. I don't even know if I want to burn this fragrance because literally, this smells like a rich buttery caramel dessert, and I would just love to eat this. If this was a dessert, I would eat this sucker. I would be. I would. I would love this stuff. And um, this is uh, called their Maple Buttered Crunch. So it's, it smells like, you know, maple, cinnamon, and caramel, and it's gorgeous. I don't even know if I want to burn uh, burn this candle. And I actually have never burned it because, you know, I just saved this. 
every once in a while on the rare occasion i'll open it and smell it and i'm just like ah oh, smells so good i don't know if y'all like caramel that much but i, I love the smell of caramel um anyways <laughs> y'all th- y'all gonna think i'm crazy over here but uh, i'm being myself i'm being true so any any uh i don't know and do y'all have any questions hello centaur Sorry, I'm late. No problem, Peter. I was on here about 30 minutes late, so uh, I'll take I'll take all of the I'll take all the blame for you. So I hope that you're doing good. I hope that you're having a beautiful weekend. I know that y'all are smelling good out there. Let me know if you, if you haven't let me know or haven't told me what your scent of the day is. Please tell me or share that with us or tell me that. I have uh, I'm wearing Aquamarine by Bulgari today. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's uh, I think it's underrated. Again, I I kind of don't know if I should call it a hidden gem. But it certainly doesn't hit the top 10 list. And nobody's really highly talked about Bulgari Aquamarine in a couple years. At least I felt like I haven't seen other reviewers really say anything good about it. And I've seen some people say some lukewarm things about it. Yes, the performance could be better. It's a four or five hour fragrance. But, I mean, it smells really good. And it, and it works. And it's certainly one of the best aquatics out there for the price. So, uh, what is a good Facebook page to sell my frags? Um, I, I don't even remember any of them by name. Honestly, Peter, it's been so long. There are some good ones. If you go on Facebook and look up groups and search like fragrance sell, perfume sell, fragrance buy and swap, I'm sure that a couple of the biggest ones will pop up. There are some people who really like to do that. You can also get into base notes. Some people love to buy, trade, sell, and swap um, on base notes. I actually have my dad sometimes who likes to do that. Sometimes find some good deals. So there's deals out there. Um, again, I try to I mess with eBay. Yes, I have to pay fees. Yes, I usually pay shipping. Uh, but I, I don't know. I guess I have a level of uh, protection. And it's kind of nice to know that you build up a, reput- a reputation. You know, my, I'm starting to get to the point where I have like 500 or so reviews. And I have like 100%. And, you know, maybe one day, maybe eBay-wise, I don't know what I'll be able to do business-wise that, you know... But it does it does look good. It starts to look really good when you got 100% ratings and 500 reviews, just about. It makes you look really good. So, John, uh, Fragrance Marketplace, yeah, you could do that as well. You could just chalk it up there on Fragrance Marketplace. You could do that too. But there are the fragrance groups that are more, you know, ready and eager to... Uh, but again, if you do mess with uh, Facebook groups, some people really disagree with me. And it's I think it's very interesting that some people disagree so much. But we all have different opinions. But again, if you pay through PayPal or any other way, do not use friends and family or try to avoid the fees. Just pay the fees so you have a le- you have an element of protection uh, through PayPal. You would have more protection. I actually would recommend you actually, um, if you to if you're the seller or you know if they're the seller, either way, um, get you know get somebody to send an invoice. And you can actually mark down what the fragrance is and what it's supposed to be and the details if you want to put down details, if that matters enough to you. And therefore, you have some level of protections. If somebody doesn't send you the fragrance or somebody sends you an empty box, you know, you can actually fight about it. If you if you do friends and family, you actually are voiding or kind of, uh, I don't know, sacrificing, giving up any of your rights uh, to that. So let me see. Uh, oh, Carly Warley's in the house. Good to see you, Carly. Yes, uh, Benjamin, good to see you. Well, I love caramel, too. Um, I, it probably would be really difficult for you to get this one, but this maple but this maple buttered crunch is, uh, is probably my favorite candle of all time. I'm a, I'm a sucker for how it smells. And again, that's this is an upcoming company. I don't even know how many of these have in stock. I don't even know if this company still exists, but the brand is called Cross Centered. So like scent, uh, like centered, but with scent. And uh, they do have a little website. I do have a really old uh, YouTube video about this this company. And um, they do have a Facebook, supposedly. So I don't, I don't know if he's still around. He seemed like he was a really generous guy. And, um, I you know, definitely, you know, give him a chance if you're looking for that caramel candle. Let's see here. I picked up um, Exalt Nuit and a nice dry to- uh, tobacco. I'll have to give that one a chance. Talking about tobacco... Uh, Tobacco Blaze by Rosasi has been tempting me. I've been very tempted to buy that fragrance, even though I've heard it does. It's not much of a tobacco fragrance. I like the sound of it, and I liked. Um, I like. <laughs> can I even remember? 
uh, what is called the one that's a copy of Tuscan leather. Uh, I, that's not even coming to me right now. Anyways, you, I should remember. I got got La La <laughs> La Yukawam. It took me like ten seconds. La Yukawam. That's the one. Uh, fragrance mark. Okay, read all that. Hi, not saying that Joe Shop is fake. Maybe there are a few products that have been fake, but my most are legit. Okay, I hear you, Ben. It's definitely good to be careful when you see something like that. It's de- it's good that you open your op- you know said something, opened your mouth, because you might put out a good word of caution for everybody. Bon Parfumer for two has a nice caramel. I might have to look into that. I do like a good caramel. Uh, Parfumo uh, Souk, uh, so UK. I'm not sure. Nose, nose, no notes. Um, it's great for Europe, but no buyer protection for anything. But lots of good stuff. Okay, so you might want to check that out. I don't. I haven't messed with that. But nope, family and friends only. Well, John, do you? I respect that. Do you and be yourself, and have fun. Thanks, Centaur, for the PayPal advice. I hear you. Uh, it's uh, that's my advice and that's my opinion. You don't have to do that. A lot of people in the fragrance community would think it's ridiculous or laugh at you if you want an invoice. But that gives you the most protection. And these days, um, I've I've met with so many people who are so funny. It's, and I've had lots of people who've tried to scam me and stuff. And uh, I won't. I, I, at least here, uh, maybe I'll make another channel and, I don't know, become more of an outdoors channel. Because it's outdoor related. I don't really want to talk about too much here. But just in general, companies can tr- treat you bad too. And I almost want to give them a very negative review because I had a nightmare of an of a experience. And I mean a nightmare with this company. And I was trying to be a seller on this website. And uh, they I got treated as almost as badly as possible. And the and the website has it's it's very poorly made. We'll have to see if they try to improve themselves. And they're and they're trying to charge me money that I don't owe, which is a huge deal. And um, they haven't really tried to affect my credit score or anything, but we'll have to see. Uh, thanks, Centaur, for the PayPal. Oh, I read that. No, due tobacco blazes, not tobacco. It's fruity ash. Uh, Dry mixed with Tuscan leather. I'll have to give it a go. That sounds fun. Uh, Nat- Natalia in the house. Good to see you, Natalia. How's life treating you? Is Robert Graham's tobacco discontinued fragrance? As far as I know, all the Robert Graham fragrances are discontinued. And they've been that while for a little... Um, uh, again, it's hard to know right now with because so many fragrances, uh, they kind of have limited availability because things aren't shipped or uh, produced as much anymore. But even before, you know, you know, the world kind of went crazy, Robert Graham fragrances were kind of getting hard to get. Now, I again, I don't want to say for certain. It's only speculation. But uh, Valor is still fairly available as far as I know. Courage is the least popular. It's more of like a slightly citrusy musk fragrance. Fortitude was the one that everybody used to really like and talk about. That's the tobacco one. Fortitude by Robert Graham. It's nice. It still seems to be, let me see here, uh, might be, you probably can find a bottle on eBay. Whether it's a good price, I'm not sure. Let me, I'm trying to see if this link is any good. Supposedly they have a bottle for 45. I don't know if it's a 50 mil or 30 mil. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to get the page to load for you guys. But anyways, it's a good tobacco. I, I mean, it is a good fragrance. I certainly do think it's worth trying. But I wouldn't like cry my heart out over Robert Graham's, um, you know, fortitude. There's plenty of other great tobaccos out there that that has a they have a similar style to it. I wouldn't cry uh, over the fragrance. So, and uh, honestly, you could get something like Noir Squeeze by Le Artisan Parfumer. Fewer people know about it. I felt like it was too smooth or too. Uh, maybe it had like a little bit of fruitiness underneath. It was too much for me. I almost felt like it was feminine. But, uh, you know, Noir Squeeze it almost does the same thing. And it's higher quality. It's underrated. Probably could find it for just as, about the same price. You might want to check that one out. It uh, might be worth your time. So let me catch up with the comments. Ruth Gifted Hands is in the house. Good to see you, Ruth. How's life treating you? Mid says... Creeds, as far as I know, don't have testers. I got that from Ash from Gent Sense. I've bought open boxes of Creeds like Melissima Imperial from Fragrance Dent. Maybe Jameis Shop means open box. Could be, Ben. I'm not really sure. Maybe I should message them. I don't really have a strong relationship, or really much of any, or any relationship, 
with any of these companies, but maybe they would answer my questions or maybe maybe we could all ask and see if we get a response from Jameis Shop. It'd be that'd be a good idea. Uh, John says Peter Fortitude is solid, but do not pay over fifty bucks. I kind of feel the same way, especially if you're pe- don't especially like any anything over sixty. It's definitely not worth that kind of money, in my opinion. Not Ashton is mistaken. Then I I don't know for sure. I'm not an authority on Creed, especially with uh, Creed has changed a lot of things here and there, and um, I I don't know for sure. But better safe than sorry. Yeah, better safe than sorry. That's what I say. Peter says, John, thanks. Uh, I paid a bill. (laughs) Creed, no tester. Damn, I got tester uh, from Christian O. I don't think Christian O sells um, fakes. Maybe they mean tester. Maybe they mean it's out of box or something. Maybe it means that it doesn't come with the original box. Christian O is a pretty good guy over there. Best Brands Perfumes, I think his uh, channel's name is. Pretty cool guy. I don't think he sells fakes, so. Scott says, have you ever tried Roja? Sweet dude, I don't think I've tried that. If you're um, asking me, it looks nice. It looks fun. But again, Rojas are a bit expensive for what they are. They're a bit expensive, more expensive than they should be. And uh, But the brand does make some nice fragrances. But again, I think they're charging a lot for their name. I think they're overcharging in a lot of cases. So what can I say? Again, if you're not familiar with the house, <coughs> sorry. I don't know what's going on with my voice over here. But uh, if you're not familiar with the House of Roja, probably would uh, try the Roja Enigma <clears throat> Creation E. Sorry, my voice. <clears throat> uh, sorry, guys. I'm okay. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I need I need something to drink is probably the problem. I need to drink something. See, I uh, can't be certain uh, seeing the bottle, but uh, they definitely uh, have testers. Yeah. Okay. They do have testers. Roja... Again, the uh, the Roja, it's the Enigma or the Creation E. The Parfum Cologne is the one I was trying to say. That's the one I would try. That's probably the most mass appealing, likable one overall that has the best performance. The Danger Cologne, Parfum Cologne, is a little bit easier to wear. But for what you're paying, the longevity should be better on it. So, anyways. Peter says, I copped Fortitude for a bill uh, because it was a VIN uh, between Spice Bomb and a Bulgari Man Black. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me personally, I'd probably go with the Bulgari Man in Black overall for the price. Uh, Spice Bomb's still a good fragrance, though. It's still very well. Lots of people like it. Okay, feel better. I'm doing good. I don't know what just got into got in my throat, but I'm doing okay now. Peter says, oh, uh, okay, Ruth says, going great. Good to see you here. I'm doing good, Ruth. It's always good to see you. Understood. He's a stand-up guy. Yeah. Yeah, he is, uh, you know... I think it's, is it Christian? I think it's Christian over there at Best Brands Perfumes. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Don't have anything. Christian, oh, that's the one. Centaur Hydrate. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Peter. If y'all don't know, that's more of a Twitch reference. I, at least I think you that's where you got it from. And um, if I had a really strong internet connection, who knows? Maybe I would try to be a Twitch gamer. I would, I, that actually would really be fun. I, I would like that, but... I don't have a good internet connection. I don't. Do I have a good enough personality to be a Twitch streamer? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I. That's maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be reviewing fragrances. I should be on Twitch. I don't know. Uh, have enough Aventus for like three lifetimes. Shake my head. Yeah, it's again. We have so many fragrances. I already have too many fragrances for my own good. I and again, I only have like seventy or so. Again, yes, I've reviewed a lot of bottles, but I tend to sell what I don't. If I don't absolutely love it, I just don't keep it. And I know some people are collectors, and I've had some stuff that, you know, some people really covet. I've had some discontinued things that aren't that special, but I've had like Dior Homme O. Uh, but I have had a couple of things that are really special. Like I had a limited edition, uh, some kind of bottle in a little metal, in a little metal container of uh fragonard which is a french fragrance house and i've never seen I've, I've never seen i don't think it's on fragrantica i'm not sure if it is and you can't find it anywhere when i got it it was like the only one i'd ever seen before and i kind of had to fight for it there he the, this person was selling actually only had one of them and they had like a number of the other ones i tried to fight for and somebody somehow got them i don't even know how they did it they, they were sneaky Anyways, but I gave that, I actually gave that one away. I, I gave it away in a giveaway box. Um, I've had, 
what did I, I oh one of the one of the big ones in my opinion was Victor and Rolf uh, Antidote. I actually kind of split that one and sold it to a couple people. I actually just barely made my money back. I actually probably lost money because of shipping and eBay fees, but I got to spread the fragrance a little bit uh, to some other people instead of hoarding it, which I think it's a really good fragrance. Sometimes I think about it. I guess I regret it selling it, but I mean, hey, that's to me, the fragrance journey is always about trying new things, experiencing new things, and to me, that's a whole fun of it. If I could, I, you know, I'd like to just try and wear a new fragrance just almost every day. At least that's how I like to play. Uh, it says, uh, what note or ingredient uh, in Layton that makes it smell like Vicks? Peppery Shades of Seduction uh, has the same stink. Um, anyways, this Robert Graham website is not loading. I don't know if it's faulty, but I can't get it to load. Supposedly they have the fragrance for 45 uh, 40 to $60. Some there's some bottles on eBay, but Fra Fragrance Net and you know online uh, gray sellers, the gray markets up, oh, gray market sellers don't really seem to have any bottles of the a lot of the Robert Grams anymore. <laughs> and uh, really, they, it's been that way for about six months or so. So, anyways, we'll stop talking about Robert Graham fragrances. Um, but let's get let me look up Layton real quick. Let me see if we can't uh, guesstimate or guess away on what gives it that quality. To me, Layton, it doesn't offend me. I, I don't get a lot of that vibe. Some people, again, say there's a Vicks cough syrup, like a cherry cough syrup vibe or something like that. I don't get a lot of it to the fragrance. And again, I know sometimes more people are more or less sensitive to certain notes. Um, I don't get a lot of it, to, to be honest. So, anyways, let's see. Let me catch up here. And we'll see. We'll see. Um, let me get look at the notes. So there's a couple things that could be culprits. There's pepper. We're not told what kind of pepper. It could be a pepper. It could be the jasmine. It could be the violet um, that they that they use. It could be the geranium. Um, I don't think it would be the lavender. So my guess is that uh, with that quality, it's either the pepper, uh, some kind of uh, aroma chemical that they're using with their pepper accord. I don't think it's the cardamom. It doesn't feel like that. So maybe it's a synthetic geranium. Maybe they have a strange type of jasmine. I don't think it would be the violet, but it could be. It could be the violet, but I don't know. I'd probably say it's either the jasmine or the pepper. So... Let's keep, let me catch up with the comments. Twitch, okay, Peter, I like I got your sense of humor. I like it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Peter says just sprayed the house with Perry Ellis Red to mask the curry curry chicken I fried up. I got a bunch of frags and I don't know what to do with early game mistakes. Yeah, per Perry Ellis Red. Um, it isn't a bad fragrance. Again, it's often compared to Aqua de Gio, but a little bit spicier. I, I still think it's a great... If you're just starting out a collection or if you're looking for a gift for a young person who's in, you know, middle school or something, Perry Ellis Red is still a pretty, a pretty decent fragrance, but I definitely hear you. I, you know, I outgrew fragrances like that. I actually gave away that fragrance at college. People are always commenting about how I smelled and, and uh, you know, sometimes kind of jealous and stuff like that. So I had a roommate and I wanted to help the guy out. And uh, so I just gave it to him. And I actually wore like about half of the bottle at college. So, um, and my, I think I'm thinking the right one. I th I, am I thinking of the right fragrance? Perry Ellis Red? Is that the Aqua de Gio one? Anyways, I hope I, th I hope I am thinking of the correct fragrance. Anyways, yeah, if you don't like it, if it's a really cheap fragrance, you could give it away. You could, I don't know, sell it, sell it in a, in a bundle. You could try to trade it. Uh, don't try to trade for a niche fragrance. That's actually, um, kind of a meme in the fragrance community that's pretty darn funny you know somebody thinks because they have you know 20 you know <laughs> so you know kind of uh, lower level designer fragrances that they could trade for some something niche and the people who have that kind of stuff probably don't want that you know you kind of have to trade for something that's equal in value i guess that's i guess that's the i guess the underlying message but it's kind of funny you use it as a room spray it's kind of funny uh, anyways, I haven't regretted selling any of the ones I just get rid of, uh, I don't think. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, that's, you know, if you don't, a lot of people, their time is money. Time, time, or time is precious. Sometimes for some people, time is money. So spending your time trying to sell, you know, a $10, $15, $20 fragrance on eBay might not be worth your time, depending on how important your time is. Nose, nose, no, no. It says, I think it's a weird cardamom apple combination and Leighton. It could be. That could be what's going on. Uh, nose, nose, no notes. Do you get that Vix, uh, Vix um, kind of quality about the fragrance? I really don't get it. And I, I still think Leighton's a pretty good fragrance. I don't think it should have been as hyped as it as it was, but was it a good fragrance? Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think uh, Leighton is, was a pretty good fragrance. Overpriced? Yeah. But uh, you can't get it on sale for a decent price. You can get it on sale... Uh, you, I think for about 150 to 200, get it a bit cheaper instead of paying that 300, 350 uh, kind of price tag. So, um, let's catch up here. She says a lot. Uh, thanks, notes. Absolutely. Uh, Grace Seduction has pink pepper, Ceylon uh, cardamom, French lavender. That sounds nice. I do like some spices. Yeah, Aqua de Gio. Yeah, that's the that's that Perry Ellis. And did you get Perry Ellis M as well? I, I tried the like Perry Ellis M. That's a vanilla one. It's kind of fancy and kind of clean. I actually think that if you're really on a budget and maybe if you couldn't afford anything better, it could work as a wedding fragrance or a, be, a, a best man kind of fragrance. But um, I don't know. I tried to like it, but it just didn't work for me. Uh, haha, I know it's a cheapie. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you want to keep it around and if you think it smells decent. I don't know. Some people might consider it a crime, but you could use it to clean your this. You know, get a get like a really nice microfiber cloth, spray a couple sprays on your you know your <laughs> your phone screen and clean your you know clean your phone. I don't know. That's a funny thought, but anyways, let's get to some new fragrance releases. Let's if y'all have any questions, please pop in. Um, I'm definitely here for you, my friends. Let's. Um, Let's see if there's any new fun fragrance releases that we should talk about. Anything that looks new and exciting. Anything that we want to try. And um, I do have some unboxings coming for y'all or on my Instagram, especially if y'all get involved in my Instagram. But I have some new really good designer fragrances on the way. Usually I usually haven't bought a lot of fragrances recently. Again, I probably should with my budget. Shouldn't have done it, but I wanted to share with y'all some fun fragrances. So I do have some stuff coming. Anyways, let's see here. There's the new Ferragamo Intense Leather. It's a, it's, I think there was already a leather. Maybe this is an, an Intense Flanker. I don't know how popular that fragrance was, if it sold very well. I don't know if that fragrance is going to be any good. But uh, let's see. There's a new Victor and Rolf Pearly Coral Pink Limited Edition. It's kind of like a, an ex a flanker of a flanker off of their Flower Bomb line. The bottle looks nice. It looks kind of glossy. It looks like the product candy kind of look, like kind of like painted on the inside kind of look, which I, I do like that look. But again, I don't know if it's going to be a good fragrance. Um, there's a new um, Daisy, uh, Mark Jacobs Daisy. It's the Oso oh Intense Flanker. There's always a new flanker. I don't know how special all of those are. I haven't smelled all of them. Um, let me catch up with the comments. I have not smelled Byredo Mixed Emotions. We could look at the notes of that. Let's do that, see if that's interesting. Uh, I can send it to you if you want. It's No, no, I don't need it. I actually gave away the Perry LSM. Again, if you know anybody who's a younger guy, maybe in middle school, uh, or some, you know, you maybe you have a friend who has a son or something, um, you know, just, I don't know, give them that Perry Ellis and help a guy out. You know, if I was in middle school, I would have been happy to have that fragrance. These days, I guess we're a little bit too a little bit too fancy for our own good. We get too picky. Uh, so this new fragrance called Perry Ellis uh, Mixed Emotions. Let's catch. Let me let me find the notes. And it's supposed to have lots of contrast and back and forth. It has papyrus and birch and violet, which sounds nice. Ceylon tea, black currant off the top. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. So the top notes are black currant and mate. The heart notes are Ceylon, uh, cinnamon, I suppose, and tea, uh, the and violet leaf, and the base is birch and papyrus. So that sounds like a good Byredo fragrance. Uh, it seems kind of modern and laid back, and I do like papyrus in my fragrances, so that sounds fun. 
Um, I haven't tried it, but Dolce Gabbana released their new uh, Velvet Black Patchouli, which, again, uh, maybe I've smelled too many Tom Ford fragrances, but when I think Black Patchouli or a smooth, dark patchouli, I think of Tom Ford. So hopefully this fragrance has enough of, a, of an edge or something provocative about it or it's unique enough to help me not think of Tom Ford because I want it to be its own fragrance. So that looks, it has Davana oil. It has Davana. Oh my goodness. I already like this line, so I might have to get my hands on this one. It has Indian Davana oil, Sicilian blood orange. Uh, it has papyrus too, black uh, patchouli, clary sage, coriander, tonka, vanilla, and caramel. Okay, I wasn't. I was kind of skeptical about it. Now I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> so that does look like a good one. I don't get too excited about new releases, but that does look like a something that would be right up my alley. So, anyways, let's catch up with the comments here. Let's see what Tom Ford has patchouli. Um, there's a number of them that do, but actually, in the in the heart of a lot of Tom Ford fragrances. I, I've mentioned it a lot, a couple times or quite a few times in my fragrance reviews. I don't know if y'all heard me say it, but a lot of Tom Ford's, that dark vibe and the fragrances is actually a modern, probably more synthetic, but it is a patchouli in the back in the background of those Tom Ford fragrances that gives it some of that dark vibe. And again, maybe not everybody would think the same way as I do with smelling all these fragrances and probably being a little bit too enthusiastic or crazy about them uh, but uh yeah i, I think that with those notes i do think that dolce gabbana is going to stand out though i think it's going to do a good job at least i'm, I'm at least i'm a, um, i'm enthusiastic or optimistic about the dolce gabbana velvet black patchouli so um have you tried uh any of the louis vuitton fragrances i've tried a clone of the uh the nomad the nomad one that everybody seems to be enthusiastic about um it's i the clone was pretty decent i should i need to try the real thing again they're kind of expensive and haven't been that accessible to me so i don't know maybe one of these days i'll get i'll try more of those louis vuitton fragrances um again if i if i couldn't find one for an extremely good deal i don't know if i'd mess with those are y'all excited about those or do y'all like those louis vuitton fragrances i don't know i'm just a funny guy i guess i guess they just don't turn me on uh, very much. I don't know why. They should. I should give them even more of a chance. Um, there's a new low wave fragrances coming out. Uh, Solo low wave. It's uh, one for women. It's called Ella de Toilette. Um, if you don't know, the Solo low wave, the original Pour Homme is a guava cedar fragrance. If you like cedar, it's definitely worth trying. And not a lot of fragrances have guava. So it's it's not long, very long lasting. I actually would like a lot more performance. But it's actually quite a hidden gem, especially, again, if you're a Woody Fragrance lover. So um, I'm excited to see. It does, it's probably not going to be anything too special, but it uh, it might be fun to try. And I do like that the brand is making a few fragrances for the ladies. Um, this one looks really interesting. I don't think I'll be able to say it right. It's called uh, Capelli de Oro Linari. Uh, it's, it's a Goldilocks falling in love. And the bottle looks really nice. It has a bunch of twisty, curly, uh, kind of blonde or yellow accents, which I guess are supposed to be Goldilocks hair. Uh, it's from the brand of Rainier uh, Dierche. Dierche. Um, it's a, what do they say? And elegant interior designer and engineer and you decide to become a fragrance maker so i, I kind of like that you get kind of you know captured that folklore or that tale or that story and kind of put it into a fragrance i found like that's really fun and oh, I, i'm trying to see if i can find the notes okay it has it has black currant leaf tangerine raspberry calabrian bergamot nutmeg grapefruit turkish rose apple magnolia water jasmine musk cedar and sandalwood it does look like a fun fragrance. So that might, if you're a niche lover, if you go on the deep end of trying new fragrances, that might be something you might want to seek out. Again, the availability of some of these odd niche fragrances is kind of hard to get your hands on. But it is fun, again, when I see new fragrances, I like to mention them. Um, at least I do my best. So, <laughs> uh, Let's see here. Uh, are you all excited for the new Paco Bon Invictus Victory? 
uh, you know, who was Jensen's over there said it was a little bit more interesting and had some kind of interesting, maybe boozy root beer kind of quality about it. And I do like root beer and fragrances. So Paul uh, I love that, uh, Invictus Victory is kind of sounding interesting to me. Uh, again, I do worry that it kind of has, a, if they kind of maybe tried to mix it with Aqua de Gio Profumo. Um, again, some of these some of these houses are kind of stealing a little bit of inspiration or the DNA from each other, and I do worry about that. But it sounds fun, and I would like to try it. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's let's look at some new releases. Let's see if there's anything that catches our fancy. Are there any comments? Any questions? Anything else? Please jump in here. There's a new Chinese oud from Arige Lador. Um, again, if you are into, uh, if you, you kind of have to be deep into ouds to care about Rouge Lador. I think they're wonderful, but uh, I haven't had smelled one I have to have. But they're they're very well done. Uh, I think at least I know that some people are really deep into ouds and have big preferences and kind of fight over brands. So it looks like a really nice blend of some modern qual, some modern blending, and it has patchouli as well. So. Let's let's catch up in here. See if there's anything new and interesting. Sorry, every time I I go back, there's a it reloads everything for me. So I have to kind of scroll down to the bottom every darn time. So let's see here. There's a couple new fragrance brands. I don't know if I even should mention them. There's uh, it's called Amar Amaranth VS at the end. So Amaranth Viz. Um, it's a new niche house. It'd be fun to look at. I don't know if I will ever get to try it. Another niche house just came out called La Bonte Paris. Don't know when or if I'll ever get to smell those. In um, in Carna Parfum has a new fragrance called Louis Bleu. Uh, <laughs> this, some of these brands look fun, but I don't know. Do y'all ever get y'all ever get to try all these new things? I'm curious if somebody out there is actually getting to smell these. Are you out there and you're actually smelling these and actually trying these fragrances? I don't. I don't know how y'all. Some of y'all get your hands on these so quickly and try all these. Um, so I've just looked at one called Brutal. It, the notes don't look like that exciting, but if the quality is good, it could be a good fragrance. Um, let's see here. Let's see. There's. I keep laughing at myself because it keeps making me scroll down every time. It's kind of bothering me, but I'm laughing it off. So, Rival. I'm looking up that one. Let's see. Blood Orange and Lychee, Rose, Jasmine. The notes don't look too exciting on these fragrances, but they could be blended well, and they could do something interesting. So, anyways. Any thoughts? Any questions? I, uh, let's see here. Are there any good Western ouds for spring? Spring ouds for Western. Um, again, you could get... I'm trying to think of or if there's a lighter oud. Uh, I'll have to see if I can't think of something like that. That's certainly a kind of fragrance that I would like to make as a perfumer. That's the kind of fragrance I would like to make. But is there I'd like a light, fresh oud fragrance? I mean, there's some more transparent ouds. And there's some ones that are really easy to wear, of course, like, you know, Hugo Boss Bottled Oud. But is it really a spring oud? I wouldn't say it's a spring fragrance. It's more of a fall fragrance. Um, I don't know. Let me try to think about that. But there's a fragrance called, a uh, new fragrance house out there called Pacha or Pacha Ibiza. And the fragrance is called I Am Insane for Him. And... I don't know why would I want to try it. And it has the note of vodka. And I like ginger. It has ginger. So it has the vodka. And it has the ginger. I want to try it. So I don't know. That looks fun. So let me think. A fresh oud fragrance. An aquatic oud. Or, or, or green oud. Or lime oud. There are some lime fragrances. Or a couple lime. I've heard that. I've heard mixed reviews. But uh, from Montal. Might be one what you would want to look into. There's Oud Lemon Lime, which uh, certainly could work in the spring. That'd probably be a good spring fragrance. But is there anything that's like really, really springy that you? I don't. I don't know if there is one. 
I don't know if there is. Versace Pour Homme Oud. It could work. It certainly could work. But when I think of, when I think of spring fragrances, I think of gin, juniper, cypress, uh, mint, uh, fresher notes like white patchouli's. Um, I think of um, you know clean notes. Sometimes I think of neroli. So, but Versace Pour Homme Oud. That one certainly could work. It's light enough. It's versatile. It uh, certainly could be pulled off in a good way for the spring. I don't know. There's not a lot of fragrances that do that. Like, there's no, there's not, at least in my mind, at least in my memory, there's nothing like a, there's nothing like a spring or even like really, I mean, there's some fragrances that can work in the summer as far as an oud, but there's not a lot of them that really try to. There's musk ouds and there's some that have some fruit that are trying to be semi-tropical, but there's like, there's no Mediterranean ouds or Italian ouds. And see, like, when I want to become a perfumer, it's like I want to make all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So I don't know. Maybe somebody else out there can, I don't know, help us out. Do you know of any really, really fresh ouds? For the ladies, there's Precious Oud by Van Cleef and Arpels. If you like something sweet and kind of, I don't know, soft and approachable, that's a, it's, a, it's a nice fragrance. But again, I don't know if, as a guy if you would like that, but Ronald... But that's a nice fragrance. Uh, there's there's Oud Ispahan, and I didn't just Google that. I did, that came to my mind. I was actually trying to refresh a page. It's all actually Orto Parisi Simalius. I was looking at, tempted to buy it, blind buy it, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, anyways, any questions for me? Any thoughts? I feel like I'm running out of steam, or maybe I'm just not being that involving. Am I? Am I not? I don't know. Maybe I'm not enough fun. I don't know. But anyways, life has been pretty good, going pretty good for me. I'm still trying to build up my soap company and everything. Hope that y'all are excited about that. And uh, that's really going to be how I get into the fragrance world. And I'm tempted to sell fragrance oils just in general. So that's something I'm really passionate about. So let's see. Which, uh, which is a copy of Oud Ispahan? Oh, Oud Mosaic by Banana Republic. I've been told to try that one. It's been recommended to me. I just haven't tried it yet. So Oud Mosaic by Banana Republic could be worth trying. That could be a good affordable fragrance. <laughs> really worth the money. Uh, Oud Isbahan is a really interesting uh, fragrance. Uh, on one hand, it's almost it's unisex and everybody can wear it. Um, at some points of the fragrance, it feels feminine. At some points of the fragrance, it feels masculine. So it's a real gender bender of a fragrance, Oud Isbahan, uh, and it certainly is worth trying. I think it's a, it's a, one of one of the fragrances from its line that's kind of underrepresented, even though a few people have said good things about it, and a couple of fragrance reviewers have raved about it. They were, you know, fragrance reviewers weren't that weren't extremely popular, and I, you know, you don't hear people talk about it that often, so. I don't know if it's discontinued. I don't. It's probably been messed with. I don't know if it's been. It's probably been reformulated. Maybe that's one reason the enthusiasm has died down for it. Uh, probably that's what's happened, and that's kind of sad. But uh, Leonardo is in the house. Uh, hello, my friend. I really like your lives. I appreciate that, Leonardo. Uh, thank you for that uh, encouragement. Uh, you know, I'm just being kind of laid back today. Um, not a lot of the fragrances that are new releases look terribly interesting for me to talk about. Um, again, that new, there's a new fragrance called Pacha. I, it is kind of funny that the bottle looks very similar to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to kick myself for not remembering. It's just, just was in my head. Uh, Valentino fragrances, the, 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 the design on the bottle looks very similar. So again, a lot of these bottling companies or a lot of the people who make the bottles, uh, you know, there's very few uh factories that do that so they probably have the blueprints and they know how to switch things up just a little bit to make it different and um i do like the shape though i did always kind of like those valentino bottles they're kind of chic you know had that checkered kind of you know kind of diamond pattern on it i don't know if y'all like that but it's kind of some people might think it's tacky but i thought it was nice anyways um and any thoughts? I'm sorry, I'm not being too exciting right now. I'm. I don't know. I still love fragrances, and I still have a passion for them. 
but I do have sometimes my moods where I almost want to take a break because I've been so passionate about this, like dedicated my life to it. Uh, sometimes I want to, I don't know, take a seat back and relax, but it's not because I want to quit or anything. It's, <laughs> it's uh, almost because I, I should, uh, you know, keep my sanity. Uh, do y'all feel like, can y'all relate to me? Do y'all have those same feelings? I'm just being crazy over here. Y'all are going to record this and, and laugh at me, but uh anyways any new brands any new fragrances that y'all are excited about um are ex are y'all excited to see my opinions and my reviews of green lover by lolita lampica i'm hoping that i love the fragrance i, I think lolita lampica is a good house um they've had some interesting kind of mix you know fragrances that have been great some of them that have been you know kind of kind of good and I'm hoping that it's one that I really like because, you know, I'd like to have a fragrance from every major fragrance house. I'm not a huge collector, but that would be a nice idea to have, you know, a good fragrance from most of the major fragrance houses. And um, I'm hoping that I like it. Uh, do you uh, do you know some Brazilian perfume? Leonardo, I have not smelled any. Uh, Charlie Brown, if he's still here, he's an awesome gent uh, from Brazil. And um, he... I, I honestly haven't smelled any of your fragrances yet. I would like to. Uh, I would like to see representation of all different countries and people and, you know, races, nationalities in the fragrance world. So um, I would like to see, you know, maybe a, 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 a niche, like a luxury brand come out of Brazil. I'd love to see that. But um, I haven't. I've, I've seen some Brazilian fragrances. I, I don't know if some of them are clones or if they're original or not. I, I really don't know. But they, some people, some Brazilians seem to be pretty happy about them. So, um, uh, if you get on my um, my Instagram, I have a friend called Charlie Brown, and you can reach out to him if you're looking for any recommendations. He ac he's actually kind of connected to a bunch of his Brazilian the Bra I guess their their kind of fragrance community or some of the friends uh, from that you know part of the world, and uh, you it would be great for you to be able to connect to them and. Uh, you know, make friends that way. Uh, I'm. I wish I spoke Portuguese, but uh, I don't. I, I. I should probably try, but I don't speak uh, Portuguese. Portuguese. Uh, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but. Um, anyways, one of the new fragrance houses that I'm really interested in trying is Orlov. I do want to try that more of that house. I want to. I want to try more of the or Orto Parisi, and there's quite a few fragrance houses that. Uh, I've been wanting to try. Uh, some people told me I need to try Ghost Ship Fragrances, which are more of an indie house. Um, there's some really weird fragrance fragrances that I found out. really want to try Tear You Apart by Fakushima. Um, there's, I'm just telling y'all some of the niche stuff that I've been interested in to help y'all give some perspective on where I am in the fragrance, my fragrance journey. There's one that I've been staring at that I would like to have. It's called... Uh, by. Um, Ja Huat Un Rive, Rav, Rive. Uh, the fragrance is called Obscure, O B S Q U R, and you can find that on Lucky Scent. Um, the notes look gorgeous and uh, looks like something I would like. Uh, the bottle's really funny. I kind of like it, though. Um, so, anyways, those are some of the things that have been on my mind. Uh, and I kind of want some more Armoffs, some of the higher end Armoffs. Any thoughts, any questions, my friends? Um, I don't see any, any, you know, too many more comments. But I do appreciate the friendship, everybody. I do appreciate y'all spending some time with me. I hope that I do my part to add to the fragrance community, to add to everybody's knowledge, um, you know, to share good experiences, to help people smell good, express themselves. That's what my fragrance channel is all about, expressing who you are, putting your best foot forward. And uh, kind of just having a better life with fragrances. Again, you don't have to be so obsessed with fragrances or live life through fragrances. I probably am a little bit too obsessed, you know. And reviewing fragrances is all good, good and all. And uh, but again, I'm trying to be do. I've been trying to do just three reviews a week. Um, and I used to do a fragrance review every single day. Sometimes I did more than one fragrance review a day. So, anyways. Uh, you got to have a balance. And I guess that's kind of, I guess, my message for today before I go. You know, have balance in your life. Again, we're getting into the spring. At least it's about just about spring where I live. 
and it's good to have a hobby. It's good to get sunlight. Make sure you get vitamin D if you can. Do be responsible. Do be careful and all that good stuff. You know, I don't need to repeat. I don't need to say all that again. You know all that. Um, but it's, um, you know, you got, you know, fragrance has cooped us up a lot. I think fragrance has kept a lot of us indoors and, and maybe we've gotten thinking maybe a little bit too much about fragrance. Hopefully we'll be able to, um, I don't know, balance our lives out a little bit here in the future. So anyways, that's a happy little message. Hope that y'all like that. Anyways, any questions or any thoughts? Um, if you're looking for spring summer fragrances, uh, do give Floris a chance. Floris is quite nice. They have some beautiful fresh fragrances. Again, I don't think everybody has given Ormond Jane a fair chance, uh, even though they do have a quite of a, a fairly big following, and they're, they're not the smallest company by any means. They're actually having a pretty good. Uh, they're do actually having a good amount of success for themselves over there. Um, do try um, Ormond Jane if you have the chance. I think that they're very most of their fragrances that I've ever tried are very well crafted and well composed, and quite beautiful. Again, if you do like the House of Creed, or maybe you like the idea of Creed and don't want to mess with clones, but also think Creed's too expensive for their own good, or maybe you know you're kind of waked up, or maybe you saw that you know they've they've done some bad for themselves, uh, you might want to try the House of Atkinsons. It's not the same. They're not dupes or anything, uh, but Atkinsons a lot. So they do have some really fresh, nice fragrances that are very well done, and do have they are fancy and classy, and you can find them at amazing deals. One that I would recommend that y'all try out is called uh, Sicily, or uh, Fragrantica might have misspelled, and they call it Skilly Neroli, but it's from the house of Atkinsons. It's a beautiful, citrusy, uh, almost Mediterranean, clean Neroli fragrance. It's great. It's high quality. It has some ambergris in the dry down. that has some musk to it. Some people say it has very poor performance on them, but uh, it seems like it gives most people about average performance. Uh, and the quality is quite good. And for the price, when you can get this one, uh, you know, sometimes less than eight, seven, you know, less than eighty dollars, around seventy sometimes if you find the right bottle, it's that's a crazy value. Again, when this is a boutique fragrance that retails for two hundred two hundred odd dollars, so um, you might want to try that one out, if you, especially if you like Neroli, or if you like lighter, fresher fragrances. So um, let's see. I'm trying to look through any other fragrances and anything I might want to recommend or tell y'all. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to say. Hey, Ben, how you been? Good to see you, Dave. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just laid back over here, taking it easy, chatting it out with you guys. Again, and just doing some quick recommendations before I go. Uh, I would look up Mahir Olfactive if y'all have the chance. They have quite a few nice fragrances. Uh, their fragrances, I think, are fairly priced. They're not the cheapest. They're like 50 mils for 150 odd dollars. Uh, so they're not cheap, but I think they give a good value. I love their treachery. I actually bought that bottle with my own money. I'm not saying that because I'm affiliated with them, and that they're, and, you know, some people get suspicious or dislike that, you know, I would say such high praise about a brand new fragrance house, but um, treachery blew me away, guys. And, and uh, I love that fragrance. So it's very bold, though. It's kind of it's probably risky for a lot of people to get into. So probably probably all I got to say, guys. Just tried Ani and Hoktavat by Nishane. Wow, very nice. Those are very nice. Yes, those are very good fragrances. Um, I, I, at first, I almost because a lot of ladies were loving on, you know, Ani and because the name might sound almost sound feminine. For some reason, I almost wanted to think that in my head, but I've been converted. I, I would love to have a bottle of Ani. <laughs> it's good stuff. Nishane Ani. And Hoktavat's good. I don't know. Hoktavat is is a good fragrance. And if I needed a professional fragrance for the office, I might wear it. But it's a good fragrance. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people like it. But again... It smells too much like Aventus to me. I know it's its own fragrance, and I know some people don't like you saying that, but I wanted more of a twist on it. And Nishane did a good creation. It's a, it's good. It actually smells more like it smells more like a 2014 batch of Aventus, um, and smells a lot better or a lot more like Aventus used to be or should smell like. 
but it, and for some people that might be a big win or a big big victory but I don't know for a little humble old me over here or maybe that's not, not very humble I should say <laughs> I wanted something I wanted something more unique I, I didn't want to super accurate high-end clone to save the day but anyways any any other thoughts any other questions my friends i probably should go i probably am not uh i hope i'm not boring anybody but have a beautiful day everybody i've been on here for an hour and 20 i'm usually on here for about an hour so that's just about right that's just about perfect so thanks for hanging out with me everybody Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for spending time. And I know that y'all are smelling great. And um, look forward to my content. Again, I have a big review coming out of, um, you know, that Hermes, that brand new release called HV. Um, I have some, some you know, random reviews of random niche. And I mean, you know, you know, you know me. I review just about anything I can get my hands on. So it's going to be fun, guys, ladies and gents. Got some stuff coming for y'all. Let me know if there's any way you you want me to switch up my content or do anything fun or different. I'm always here, uh, you know, trying to do my own thing. I know fragrance reviews are fragrance reviews, and the information and being helpful is what matters. But I also uh, I, I'm also an individual who kind of craves creativity, so I know that I could do some wacky stuff with my editing, but also maybe I could figure out a way to have some more creativity. And I know it sounds really dumb, but it's a thought that come to my head. If I had the kind of money and the luxury to travel, having a new setting, like sitting, doing a fragrance review, uh, you know, in a new setting in the world would be a fun thing to do. But uh, that really isn't the originality that I'm really craving. It's, I don't know, I'm, uh, I need some kind of, I need, I need to figure out what I should do a little bit different, a little bit fun uh, to switch things up in my reviews. I'll, I'll try to figure out what that is. Dave, uh, see you soon. Yes. I put out a review Monday again. I don't usually put out a review on a Sunday. So again, I review. I put out a review Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I was putting out a review every single day. Uh, but now I'm back to my three-day schedule. So I usually upload around anywhere from 2 to 4 p.m. So come on back. I always got something got go going on for you guys. Hope that you like my reviews. Hope that you feel some friendship and some connection here. That's what this is all about. And... Um, I appreciate your time and your everything going on. So, Leonardo, goodbye. I guess I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Dave, Leonardo, uh, Ronald, if you're still here, John, um, Sales, Sales Poe, uh, Peter, and um, uh, Nose Nose, No Notes, and everybody else who might still be here. And I uh, hope that y'all have a beautiful weekend. Cook some good food for me. Uh, stay safe out there. Smell great. I know that y'all are once again. And um, I'll catch y'all later. Again, the fragrance journey is fun, and it's a good experience. But uh, take the, take everything at your own pace. Don't overwhelm yourself, and um, you know have fun with it. You might sometimes you might not need to buy fragrances. Sometimes you might want to relax and uh, or step away. You know you don't always have to watch fragrance reviews if you don't want to. I, I enjoy that y'all do watch my fragrance reviews, and but do uh, you know just like me? Sometimes you might need a break and. Um, you might want to try out candles. Uh, you might want to try out essential oils. You might want to do a lot of different things. So have fun. Have fun out there, my friends. Go crazy. Go wild. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out. Have a beautiful weekend once again. And I'll see you soon. Peace out. Bye.